Did you know that the world's very first device to record sound was never meant to be heard? In 1857, before Edison's phonograph, a French printer named Douad Lonscott de Martinville invented the phonotograph. This ingenious device used a horn to gather sound a vibrating diaphragm and a stylus to etch sound waves onto soot-blackened paper or glass. But here's the twist, its sole purpose was visual. Scott, a passionate linguist, wanted to see how sound waves behaved, to study phonetics, not to play them back. Imagine it a machine capturing human speech and music, not for entertainment, but for scientific analysis. It was a paradigm shift in acoustics. Researchers could now study the physics of sound in unprecedented detail scrutinizing vibrations, pitch, and timbre, purely through their visual representations. For decades these silent etchings lay unheard. It wasn't until 2008, nearly 150 years later, that scientists used modern digital techniques. To finally play back one of Scott's phonotograms, revealing a 10-second recording of a woman singing. This unsung pioneer's work laid the foundational understanding for all subsequent sound recording, from those delicate visible waves to the digital audio files we create today. The phonotograph proved that sound could be captured, even if its creator initially intended only for our eyes to listen, a true testament to curiosity shaping technology in unexpected ways.